Well, we're on our way, and I couldn't ask for a more perfect day. 72 degrees and a soft breeze. And yep, the crowds are all here, raring to go. Now, I'm not looking for anything in particular, but I always try to keep an open mind for that special find. There's always plenty of eye candy here at Brimfield, and the spring market surely won't disappoint. Wow, check out this Willie Rizzo revolving coffee table with a built-in ice bucket. They really knew how to party in the 70s. Vintage 70s furniture is all the rage, and there was no short of supply here at Brimfield. I think those are from the 50s, but I love them. If this is your first time here, welcome. If not, welcome back. I am so glad you're hanging out with me today. And look at all the beautiful examples of rosewood furniture. The vendor told me that rosewood got its name because when the wood was cut, it had a scent of rose. I did a little digging, and some say yes and some say no. Not sure what that is, but interesting. I just love the green on the side of these chairs. And I thought it was walnut, but I asked, and yep, more rosewood. Now, if you're looking to create a look that's definitely one of a kind and not cookie cutter, you should really check out a flea market. Let's face it, you're not going to find this stuff at Home Goods. Not that I don't love me a nice Home Goods haul. How cute is this mid century rocking chair? This chair so reminds me of Halston. How fabulous. And more rosewood. And if you're looking for one-of-a-kind pieces of art, Brimfield is definitely the place to shop. No matter what your genre, impressionist, modern, I got this cubism piece. Love it. And who doesn't love a little chinoiserie? Now this vendor had some wonderful examples of cruel work. I love cruel work, very similar to needlepoint, but instead of using just threads, they use worsted wool for the embroidery. And it's usually done on linen or cotton or some very natural material. I always find it very whimsical and I don't know, I just, uh, I just have always loved it. It's very textural. She also had some great crochet pieces and some really amazing quilts. Look at these colorful tunics. I loved her booth. Everything had a real bohemian flair. Let's check out these amazing decorative pillows. I love this one. Look at the texture. I love it, Frida Kahlo, how fun. I love these pillows because no matter what your style, you can find it here at Brimfield. Look at these. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, now let's check out this vendor. Look at that Marilyn Monroe. This vendor had beautiful pieces, decoratively painted. I love how she transformed these vintage pieces. And if you missed my last video where I transformed a mid-century modern coffee table to an upholstered bench, Check it out down below. I'll leave you the link. Love this. Prices were pretty reasonable. I think this piece went for about $3.95. Eh, sounds about right. A good decorative paint job takes a lot of work. I thought this French country piece with the stencil clock was kind of fun. Ooh, check out this primitive style chest and this green jug. Ooh, this inlay. Side table's really pretty. These columns are amazing. Here's a sneak peek of my upcoming video. Yep, more Brimfield. Make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell. Now there's thousands of vendors at this Brimfield flea market, so let's keep checking stuff out. these Werner Panton style chairs. Oh, and these vessels are to die for. And 
now some fun things for the yard. I love that leather wing back chair with the nail heads. How fun. And if you're into African art, yep, they've got that too. They always have a good variety of dealers from various regions. Items like these always add a lot of interesting color and texture and make great decorative accents. Oh, I absolutely love these brass chests. I just love the patina in them. Now I've been to many Brimfield flea markets but I have to say that I saw some of the most amazing furniture at this one. And let's not forget the vintage pottery. Very nice. I thought this vendor had some really cool stuff too. And I love this painting. And if you're in the market for a bust or some statues, you'll definitely find something here. Look at how lifelike this one is. Be sure and let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part of the flea market. And if you want to see what was happening at the last Brimfield flea market, click on the video right here and I'll see you over there.